I think there are levels to e-collar training. The basic level is essentially people who use their collar to stop unwanted behavior. Off. The next level would be people who also use the collar to stop unwanted behavior, but maybe dabble in using a little bit of low stim to kind of push the dog into certain behaviors, like place and stuff like that. Good. Then, then there's another level of trainer. These are the people who can use the e-collar to build a wildly eager and motivated dog that flies in and out of behavior with passion. Anybody that thinks you can do that with pure punishment has never tried to make a dog do anything. I promise you, compulsory behavior does not look like this. The trainers who can elicit these results comprehend e-collar training on a whole different level. I aspire to be one of those trainers. I want to learn how to use the e-collar in a way that increases clarity and reduces conflict. And I think I've found the tool to help me do that. Martin Systems K9 Remote. First, I want to show you some of the basic specs of the remote. But then I want to show you how I believe the K9 has cleared the way for me becoming, I think, a better trainer. At first, I thought the canine was a bit too chunky. I mean, why would anybody want to carry something like this around in their hand? This is me coming from the standpoint that less is more when it comes to an e-collar remote. To me, the best e-collar remote is going to be the one that does not get in the way of their training. Insert the finger kick. But we'll get back to that. Unlike the other remotes in the industry that rely on some blue backlit light to let you know what the settings are, the canine has Full LCD, full LCD, look at that, it's beautiful. Big numbers and big caption blocks to let you know exactly what mode you're in. This thing is freaking awesome. You can easily see your settings in any lighting conditions. Anyone looking at the small window on a 1900 in bright or dim light knows the struggle. Now remember before when I complained about how chunky this thing was? I gotta say, it's not bad. I actually like it. It feels really nice in your hand. Prior to this, my favorite remote was the e-collar tech puck, but it's always made me feel like a spunky teenager when I use it. Maybe it was all the skin options. But the canine though, it's a game changer. It feels like an adult's remote. The ergonomic design is just so thoughtful. The plastic almost feels like rubber. It's perfectly grippy. The ridges separating the buttons are super helpful, allowing you to intuitively sense what you're pressing without looking at the remote. The knobby grooved levels dial rolls perfectly between your pointer finger and thumb, giving a satisfying haptic click with every turn. So if you need to adjust the stem, the tactile clicks let you know exactly what level you're on without ever having to look at the remote. And this is just another way that the K9 reduces its footprint on your training. There are just a few other basic features that need mentioning. If you want some semi-advanced training tips and our take on some of the best training gear out there, then click the link to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified whenever we post new videos. One, the clicker. One of my favorite features is that if the remote is set to zero, it becomes a clicker. This means you don't have to carry around an actual box clicker. This paired with the finger kick, there she is again, makes for a very convenient training experience. Two, the battery. The site says you can get about three days of battery with the remote on standby. I've gone four or five days using it a couple of times a day before having to charge it. Let's talk about charging it. I was the first to complain that I had to use a screwdriver and find some obscure battery to fit into my PT3000. I mean, this is a high-end e-collar system. Don't get me started how I felt like I was jumping the car every time I had to charge the actual collar. But the new K9 charges wirelessly. I lay it on the charging port at night and it's ready to go by the morning. Oh, and if you need to charge it in the car, or you're just some kind of primitive knuckle dragger, you still have the option of charging the remote with a USB. I would have preferred it was a USB-C plug, 
like the wireless charger, but it's just one of your standard mini USB plugs. Three, it's waterproof. Well, I can't verify this part. I'm not willing to risk it. Barton Michael, I believe you, but nah. Number four is the range. This collar reaches a thousand meters. For all you Americans, that's about 3,280 feet. That's about three quarters of a mile, which is essentially about nine football fields. You get it, it's far. Number five is compatibility. It's compatible with all Martin System Chameleon collars. My old Chameleon works just fine, so it's nice to be able to use that with some of the new technology. The K9 remote is compatible with the mobile app Dogify. The app really needs its own video. Basically, you can control the remote and the collar and all of its parameters from your phone. It also gives you cool info like whether or not the collar is making contact and your dog's relative temperature. What? Lastly, it's compatible with the finger kick. I told you we'd get back to this. The Bluetooth finger kick allows you to control the stem on the canine all while keeping your hands free. Yes, I know, the finger kick is not new, but it is absolutely essential to getting the most out of this remote while reducing the inconvenience of having a remote. Okay, so for as much as I've been talking about how the canine reduces its footprint on your training, this remote has 100% left its mark on me and changed me as a trainer. First, the canine has reminded me that I don't know everything. Over the course of my career, I've worked with so many dogs that I can usually address most of the issues with very little resistance. I've been guilty of trying to unnecessarily figure out things by myself when I have a network of trainers that I can always reach out to. At times, my pride stood in the way of my growth. The Chameleon e-collar system is complex. There are four stimulation buttons, 18 stem levels, 10 modes, including rising and decreasing stems that you can customize the speed and parameters. And you can set all this up for one dog or four. I knew if I was gonna reap the full benefits of this remote, I was gonna have questions. Who better to call than our friends who sent us the remote in the first place? Katie and Jake at Synergetic Canine. Uh, obviously I've been playing with this thing for a little while now. I really like it. I had questions in terms of like how I can actually use it to kind of push my training a little bit further than I have before. So. I hear so many trainers say like, I wish I had another hand or like even clients like, oh man, I'm gonna need another hand for all this. Oh, hey, how about we free up your hand with the finger, finger kick? Yeah. yeah. It is a little bit much for the average client to own, but when you talk about something like the contact measurement, yeah. where you know it's in contact, that is something that every owner can yeah. benefit from. And one feature that I find myself using earlier on maybe in lessons with clients is the feedback from the remote. So you can go into your phone, you can turn on an audible feedback, right? So essentially your remote now is a sound box. So you know when your client is pushing the remote. So you can get that audible feedback almost instantly, you know, which is a big part of learning the remote call. Yeah, I didn't even know that that feature was on there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that there you go. Cool. Like if you're working in a club or you're having a seminar, you know, you can at least, you can hand a finger kick over to your, your trainer and you can hear when they push it. So you're like, wow, oh, yeah, that's what I was doing wrong. So it kind of gives that audible feedback without needing like the physical sound box. That's fucking amazing, actually. Well, that. aside from your canine remote having the feedback, the collar also has a feedback tone as well. So when it's not making contact, you have the lights that blink and flash, but you can also turn on the tone too. So while you're walking, you don't have to like look at the collar to know that it's, it's making, making contact. That is sick. This is the cool thing about their company. They just keep making it better. They just keep adding things. I mean, it's like the new iPhone, but you're like, how many? <laughs> I think that's the coolest part about Martin System is that both um, Michael and Bart are constantly using their equipment yeah. and with new ideas. That's true. That's true. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. 
get some rest <laughs> <laughs> or try. <laughs> All right, Thank thanks, you. guys. All right, see you. All right, man, we'll see you. I think good trainers sustain their curiosity about dogs and learning. The more you learn, the more you can contribute to the craft and the advocacy of dogs. What a great reminder this has been. There's no shame in not knowing. Always seek more. The second way that the remotes impacted my training is that it's reminded me to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Like any muscle, you need to be stretched to the end of your ability to grow. I have some e-collar experience and knowledge. I would say it's a little bit more than the average trainer that just uses an e-collar to correct or interrupt behavior. All the modes and options on this remote made me feel like I didn't really know anything because I couldn't figure out why or how you would use all these different options. I needed to step out of my comfort zone. I needed to try some things that I hadn't considered before. One thing that kept popping up was how can I use this descending stem? What are some behaviors where a gradual release of pressure would be reinforcing? The most obvious behavior that kept popping into my mind was a recall. As the dog runs back with each step, the pressure is decreasing. Seeing as my dogs already know that pressure can guide them into a reward, the idea that the dog can control the amount of pressure he receives is next level. If I get this right, it'll be both tactile and visual feedback, letting him know real time that he's doing the correct thing. That's crazy. If you wanna buy one, there's a link in the description. Or you can go visit our friends at Synergetic Canine and buy it directly from their site. I'm experimenting in an area that up until now, I was too scared I would mess up my dogs and I'm not gonna lie, it's liberating. Third thing the canine transmitter has helped me do is focus. I found for me, good training tends to focus on one challenge at a time. Then I have to ask myself, what are the specific actions that need to be met in order for us to achieve our goal? The canine only has 18 stem levels. Admittedly, at first, I thought this was a big disadvantage. It was surprising to be honest. Coming from the industry standard, which is like 100 or 127, I thought the jumps from one to 18 would be way too big. However, I found that the limitation has made me way more deliberate about where I set my numbers. I go into every training session considering exactly what I wanna work on, what levels and on what buttons those levels need to be set. and which modes are best for the desired result. My sessions have more purpose, and that purpose informs everything that we do in that session and the next. This remote unlocks the chameleon system in a way that we haven't seen before. To me, it's not for the average pet trainer or pet dog person. This remote is for people looking to take their training to the next level. So if you like this product and you think it could help advance your training, then you'll probably like this one too because this is another one of our favorite pieces of training equipment.